So now that we've addressed mindset, which is where the battle really begins and is fought and won, mm -hmm. we're going to start to address some of the tips that you can use going forward to adjust your eating habits. And one of the big things, of course, is carbs. Some carbs are worse than others. So we like to talk about the seven deadly carbs. All right, so a lot of these are gonna be probably obvious if you're in this group, but we wanna touch on it, give you a nice, easy start, and make sure that you know not to eat these. All right, sugar, don't do it. These are just plain sugar cubes. Don't just eat straight sugar cubes. Funny story, a little side note. I had these in my house when the girls were little. I did like tea parties with them. We had like fun little teapots and they would use this, I thought it was really fun. Well, because when we started eliminating sugar out of our home, one of my girls got so desperate that I found her just eating straight sugar <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, um, and candy, these obvious things. Also soda, you know, just be intentional. Look at your drinks, make sure just kind of start watching the sugar in your drinks. Yes, this next one also will not be a surprise to you, bread and crackers. So whether it's the bun on the burgers, crackers that maybe you eat with something on top of it, or, you know, I'm from the South, so we, crumble up crackers and put it on the top of every casserole. <laughs> um, so that's just an obvious way to cut down some of your carbs is to avoid the breads. All right, and potatoes. We had to, now, we had to get stuff from both of our houses and from the cabin in order to have enough to show you all, and it was a stretch. So Rebecca found a potato. I don't know if you can see all the eyes like exploding so out gross. of it. <laughs> it's extra but, carbs, just trying yeah, to <laughs> exploding out. So this includes fries and my own personal biggest challenge, potato chips. All right, this next one might be a biggie for some of you. It's pasta, okay? Pasta is one of the seven deadly carbs. If you look into how many carbs are in pasta before you even put sauce or anything on it, you might be really surprised. I'm sad. So we will get more into like substitutions and things like that, but just Google, go to Pinterest, go wherever and look for some substitutes for pasta. There's lots of stuff out there in this group. I'm sure some people will share as well. Um, there, are some, there are some alternatives to all these things. We're just not gonna get into all of that today. Today, we're just kind of like drawing a line in the sand and not eating this stuff, okay? Um, cereal, this is, I don't wanna leave. <laughs> Could be a mess. Um, Rice Krispies, another one of my favorites that I haven't had for a long time is Rice Krispie treats. Um, so that is, any kind of cereal oatmeal. I think for so long, a lot of us probably thought that oatmeal was like, you were doing the most amazing thing for your body if you ate oatmeal, but also a lot of really high carbs. Yeah. This one also along the same lines might surprise you, rice. So a lot of people think, ooh, I'm gonna eat rice and that's gonna be really good for me because it's a healthy thing. Like Google, how many carbs are in rice? Because if I'm gonna eat carbs, I'm not wasting it on rice. That's right, we gotta be selective with our carbs. And then lastly, um, chocolate chip muffins. <laughs> that's not a category by itself. <laughs> Um, what was this pen for? It's just baked goods, baked goods. you know, like desserts. Right. The things that when you eat them, you say, I shouldn't be eating this, don't, don't eat it. If you're saying that as you're eating it, that's your sign to not eat it. Okay, so this is just, you know, like the very beginning of the challenge, and these are just categories of things that if you cut these categories out of what you eat on a normal basis, you're gonna see results, you're gonna feel results. So that's why we like to start with it. We wanna give you some wins early on and let you know that this lifestyle will work for you. And these are just things that you can kind of keep top of mind and just be aware. We're creating that awareness so that you can make better choices. Okay, so your challenges for today, don't eat any of these. <laughs> Number one, and get it in your mind that you're not gonna be eating these for the next 21 days. But don't despair, there are tons of substitutes out there. So if you're feeling really desperate, like I gotta have rice, Ask it in the group, we can help you or Google it and find a substitute. 